but back in the day in blocks with guns used to actually do 40% less damage and you were 60% faster with the butter fruit. These are some of the craziest things that you must know about old blocks fruits. Okay, starting off, I'm going to be telling you about one major difference between the old blocks fruits and the new blocks fruits. And that's that back in the day in blocks fruits, fruits didn't actually used to be called blocks huh? fruits. They used to just kind of be normal circular fruits. They were not blocks shape at all. You can see by the fruits on screen right now that they were completely different. They were circular and the spring fruit actually kind of looked like a spring fruit. But anyways, the reason that this was actually changed in the game was because of copyright and blocks fruits did not want to get copyrighted by one piece so they changed the branding for the fruits to be blocks instead of normal circles but it's still something that's pretty cool to know about the older days of blocks fruits versus now okay so now i'm gonna be telling you about something that you knew blocks fruits players definitely did not know about and i'm talking about the poneglyphs and if you watch one piece you might already know what these are and what they look like but let me tell you anyways back in the day in update 10 the poneglyphs are large stones with a bunch of carved letters slash symbols on them and they were added to the game somewhere around update 10 to update 12 and this is what they looked like they were just big cube shaped rocks and they were actually removed from the game on update 13 and to this day no one knows why they were added or why they were removed you can find the poneglyph located at the snow mountain and at the cave island in the second sea and like i mentioned before nothing much is known about these structures but rumors spread that it was actually a hint about the awakening for the rubber fruit but we literally never got that to this day and if you actually look closely at the poneglyphs there was actually the gamer robot symbol carved on them which is a pretty cool easter egg but overall it's just a pretty cool secret and i'm not sure why they removed this from the game okay so now i'm gonna be telling you about a pretty old glitch that used to be in the game and this was really overpowered if you knew how to use it properly and what this glitch basically allowed you to do was use two fruits at the same time and the way you did this is by using a fruit that has a transformation and then sitting down on a chair usually people use a leopard fruit for this because it's the best transformed fruit in the game once you did that and activated your transformation all you have to do is go over to the normal blocks fruit dealer and talk to him and get a different fruit and then you can just activate that fruit while you have the leopard transformation and that basically gives you the speed of the leopard and the extra health and you get a whole extra fruit with it damn that is really really overpowered and they see why they removed this from the game you would literally be unbeatable if you had two fruits all right now we got another pretty major change and this is the old start menu versus the new start menu in blocks fruits and if you take a look on your screen you'll see that the old start menu here has a few minor differences the outlines of the marines versus pirate side is a little bit thicker in the new version and in the old version you see the pirate side is actually a completely different person and if you guys know who this is props to you this is buggy the clown and guess what they removed this change also because of copyright because this is a character in the one piece anime and they did not want to copy any more from there than they already have in the game damn i wonder how blocks fruits would be if a lot of things weren't taken down for copyright okay so next up i got a pretty minor change and this is something that's actually pretty noticeable and that is the actual name of the game did you know back in the day blocks fruits actually used to be called blocks piece huh? and you might be wondering why the name was actually changed and well you guessed it copyright just like most of the other changes on this list and the reason for the copyright is pretty obvious having the name as blocks piece is way too similar to the one piece anime so they had to change it to blocks fruits because the game revolves around fruits anyway so it's good for their branding but anyways i think this wasn't that big of a deal because blocks fruits is still the same game we all love next up we got another secret npc that used to be in the game and i'm talking about santa claus himself and santa claus was obviously added during each christmas event that the game went through he's an npc that sells you limited time accessories as well as a secret boat called the sleigh and a lot of people don't have this he was first added in update 13 which was the first christmas event in the game then he was removed in the very next update and he was re-added in update 17 which was the next christmas event and some of you might be wondering what did he actually sell you well during the christmas event when you killed npcs you actually used to get a thing called candies which was basically the currency that you bought stuff from santa claus with and the first thing that you could buy was called the elf hat and this is a pretty solid accessory overall well it's more for show than use and the second one was called the santa's hat which was basically the exact same thing then we got the sleigh which was the secret boat that you could buy for a total of 1000 candies and let me tell you these candies were not easy to get overall a pretty cool event and i'm looking forward to seeing santa claus again this christmas all right next up we got another minor change and this one is actually pretty small compared to all the other changes and it's actually the fruit category names everyone knows the three different categories for fruits in blocks fruits we got the elemental we got the natural and we got the beast the beast fruits are obviously the ones that have transformations the elemental ones are pretty self-explanatory i mean they're elementals and natural fruits are ones that don't fit into the beast or elemental category they're kind of just a separate group on their own but did you know when blocks fruits first started they actually did not have these names they used to be called something else the natural fruits used to be called paramecia the elemental fruits used to be called logia and the beast fruits used to be called zone and once again you guessed it the reason they were called this is because they were trying to replicate the same categories as the one piece anime and they were changed obviously due to copyright but let me know what you guys think in the comments do you prefer the old category names or the new ones me personally i like the old ones because it feels way more natural all right next up we got another pretty minor change in the game and that was back in the day in blocks fruits the max server size used to be only 10 so there could only be a total of 10 people in each server compared to the 12 that we have now which 
which isn't that big of a difference, but when you look at back in the day where the islands and Bloxwitz were nowhere close to the amount as they are now, you'll understand why it was just 10 players, because it would just be chaos if there was a lot more. But I still think 12 is a lot better, and honestly, currently, I wouldn't mind if they changed it to like 20 or something, because I just think there need to be more players on the map, especially in the second and third seas. They're way too big for just 12 players. Okay, now we got something that's actually really different to the huh? current day in Bloxwitz, and that is the max level in the game. Back in the day in Bloxwitz, the max level that you could be was actually not 2450. It was actually just level 300. Can you imagine that? You just finished the game after level 300. And the last island of the game was the Coliseum. So once you were done with all the quests there, you were literally done with the whole game and you could just alt F4 out and you were completed with it. There was literally no second C, there was no third C, it was just the first C all the way up to the Coliseum. Next up, we got another pretty minor difference and that's back in the day, there actually wasn't as many game passes as there are today. And one of those game passes was the Fruit Notifier. And all of you players that spend Robux on the game, you should know how useful of a game pass this is. This literally almost guarantees that you get the fruit that spawns in. And when this game pass didn't exist, each player would have to manually track down the fruit that spawn in. Well, I guess that's how the game is like for players that don't spend Robux on it. But since I have the fruit notifier, it would be a pretty big difference for me. But then again, I have almost all the good fruits in the game, so it doesn't really matter. Next up, we got another major thing, and this is especially for you people out there that are gun mains. Did you guys know that the gun's passive attack actually used to do 40% less damage of what it does now? And that is a major difference, because think of how useless guns are now. Imagine how useless they would have been back then. And another thing to go with that is that guns actually had no skills, you just had the passive ability, and even that was nerfed by 40%. And let's be honest, there's literally no point in using guns if they don't have skills. You would have to be one hell of a dedicated gun main to still use them with that. But anyways, no one really uses guns, so let's head over to the next one. Okay, so next up we got another pretty major change with one of the most crucial abilities in the whole game, and I'm talking about the sky jump ability. Everybody knows and loves this ability, and everyone also knows that you get a total of around 10 jumps, and it slightly varies depending on whether you have the angel race or not. I think you get like two extra jumps if you have the angel. But anyways, but back in the day when the sky jump ability was first added to the game, you actually did not have any limit on how many jumps you had, which means as long as you had enough energy to do the jumps, you could keep doing them. And there was basically infinite sky jumps to people that had a lot of energy. And that was really overpowered because you could literally jump from the sea floor all the way up into the sky. And that's actually kind of crazy because if you think about it, if you stand underneath skylands, you could actually jump all the way up there. Well, it might be a bit faster to actually walk up the slope, but it's still pretty cool that you can have infinite jumps. But I completely understand why they removed this from the game. It was a little bit too overpowered. Okay, so next up, we got an old thing about the Buddha fruit. It's literally the best grinding fruit in the whole game. And if you want to get to max level, this is the fruit you ideally want to be using. But did you know that back in the day, it actually used to be way more overpowered? And there was a little speed hack you could do with this fruit. So currently in the modern blocks fruits, when you use the transformation for the Buddha, your speed only increases by 15%. But you actually look like you're walking a lot slower because of just how huge you are. Cover a lot more ground when you're bigger. But did you know that back in the day in Blocks Fruits, the Buddha actually used to give you a 60% speed boost. So you literally used to become the Flash when you transformed with the Buddha. This lets you walk around at high speeds and when you're fighting people or enemies, they will 100% guaranteed not be able to land a hit on you just because of how fast you are. But overall, I kind of see why the devs averted this change because the Buddha Fruit is already so overpowered even without that speed boost. And I think the Buddha Fruit is at a good point in the game right now, so there's no need to change it. Okay, so everybody knows that currently in Blast Roots, you have to reach level 15 before you can start fighting against other players. Some of you might have forgotten about this, but it's a pretty crucial thing to the game and the devs added this so that new players don't quit just because they get killed by players that are max level. But back in the day in Blast Roots, there was no prevention against this, so if you were just a new player that spawned into the game and if you are in a place where PvP was turned on, then you would just die. Every single player that was a higher level than you would just target you because you're such a low level and so easy to kill. So the game would actually just kind of be ruined for you because everywhere you go, people will just be killing you just because of how low your level is. Overall, I'm pretty glad they changed this because I know that I would have a bad first impression on a game if the first thing that happened to me when I entered it was me just dying over and over again. Overall, a really solid change. Okay, so everybody knows about the different events that are currently in Blossoms. We got the Sea Beast, which is singular Sea Beast spawns in and attacks you and your ship. We got Rumbling Waters, where three Sea Beasts spawn in, attack you and your ship. Then we got the Mirage Island event, and we got the Raid. The Raid is where a bunch of ships attack you, and the Mirage Island is where a magical island just spawns in with a bunch of secret stuff on it. But back in the day in Blocks Roots, none of these existed. There were literally no sea events in the game, which means there were no sea beasts, no ship raids, no rumbling waters, and no Mirage Island. Damn, that would have been pretty boring, but I'm glad they have these now. Makes the game a lot more interesting. Okay, so everybody knows and loves fragments in Blocks Roots, but did you know that back in the day in the old Blocks Roots, the fragments were actually called something else. They were called rare artifacts. And the rare artifacts was an item that was dropped by the Darkbeard raid boss with a 100% chance. And they could be used to unlock certain items or services, but it was removed after update 11 and replaced with fragments.
And in my opinion, fragments are just a lot more cleaner and they're, they're the currency that we all know and love. And plus with these rare artifacts, once you left the game, you actually wouldn't get them back. So you actually had nowhere to save these. And if you wanted to save up for something like a fighting style, you would just have to stay in game and grind the boss a bunch of times. It's just a pretty tedious task. And overall, I'm pretty happy that they changed this. Okay, so now I'm going to be telling you guys about a secret fruit that was actually removed from the game. Well, not really huh? removed, but updated. And I'm obviously talking about the door fruit. And this is what it looks like. This fruit costs a total of 950,000 belly or 1,400 robux from the blast fruit dealer. It was a rare fruit and a natural type fruit. And all of the abilities of this fruit are very similar to the portal fruit. And the reason for that is the portal fruit is the updated version of the door fruit. And let me tell you the reason why it was changed. Well, I'm sure you all guessed it by now. It's copyright. Damn, copyright really ruined a lot of things in this game. In my opinion, I still think the door fruit is pretty cool, but I'm not really sure which one I like more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. 